Hello everyone, this is Melanie from Melanie B's Creative Studio and today I'm going to be switching things up quite a bit. In front of me you're going to see a crafties kit. This isn't necessarily where I'm going to be switching things up, but if you notice, and I'm going to snap my fingers here in a minute and show you what kit this is, this is a child's painting kit. Isn't it adorable? So last month in November, when the friendly folks at Craft Ease reached out to me and said, would you like to collaborate with us again? And I said, absolutely. But would you guys be willing to send me a kid's painting this month? Because I have really been wanting to teach Colton, my five-year-old grandson, how to paint my number. Now that he's in school, in kindergarten, and I have taught him to diamond paint, I'm noticing he is loving doing crafts with his mom. So when it came time to pick a kit, I saw this one and I said, would it be okay if I picked a kit? And I taught or attempted, <laughs> here are the operative words, <laughs> attempted to teach my five-year-old grandson how to paint my number. Let me just go ahead and put it out there. If you saw the diamond painting video, this kid is a mess. I mean, straight up mess. If you didn't see that video, I did actually record a lot of him actually painting because I was so impressed with him really doing such a good job. He had no motor skills when it came to holding that drill pen. Since then, and being in kindergarten, he's learned how to hold a pencil better and he's learning those skills. He knows his numbers by sight. I mean, you know, he knows all that stuff now. So I feel like he's gonna do a little better, but... He is so funny and has zero attention span. So this is a whole different ball game. He's so hyper. I'm just waiting for all this water and all this paint to be everywhere. So after I kind of go through this kit really quickly, um, I'm going to get him in here and there is no telling what nightmare might ensue for me trying to teach him how to paint my number. But I thought, you know, it's at least worth a shot. <laughs> to try because it would be nice for when I ever have time to sit down and paint my number and his mom and I want to sit down and have downtime. We can be like, here, here's your paint my number. Here's ours. We're all going to paint together. I know <laughs> it's a dream world and one that we would love to live in once in a while. But this is a major reason why you don't hear me say I get a lot of time to paint. So yes, this is the goal and the dream in my life. So we're going to take a quick look at the kit. I have already gessoed the canvas, but that is all I've done. I haven't even opened the paints or anything like that. I'm not even going to swatch the palette. We're just going to jump right into the kit because I know this is going to be a long process and maybe it will help you teach your child how to paint. And I would say maybe from the age of five and up after this video, depending on how this goes, I may recommend a 10 and up. <laughs> just depends, right? Depends on the age and the behavior and the attention span of your child. And I'll have recommendations maybe after this. All right, so be prepared for him to talk smack the whole time and give me attitude and throw out some funny country accents because he is like me in that department where he gets super dramatic and oh my God. So yeah, I'm just gonna let him be himself because he's a keep it real kind of kid. And I don't know where he gets that from. All right, let's take a quick look at the kit because it is super cute. And it's no different, really, than the other kits that I brought, you know, from them, which I loved. It wasn't like it was less quality or anything like that. So that's what I wanted to jump into and show you really fast and take a quick look at. And then we're going to just move on and get Colton ready. As I've mentioned in the past, their boxes do convert to easels if you would like to use it that way. In fact, I will probably do that for him in the future when we're sitting at the table and he doesn't have a workspace of his own, this is what I will do for his box because it came in really good condition. So that would be a perfect opportunity for me to do that for him. But for right now, because the box will not stay open and out of the way, I'm gonna take everything out, set it on the counter and let's go through it. 
Now, one thing I probably will have to be really careful of with him being the, a child is him pushing on the center of the canvas because it is framed. But what I do in this situation, typically with my own, if I'm having any issues, is I will take foam board and I will put two layers of foam board together back to back. I will cut them down to the size of the inside of my frame and I'll attach them together, stick them down inside and that gives me a firm surface that will go inside this frame until I'm finished painting and then I just pop it out and I use it for the next framed piece and I can just use them over and over again. The reason I don't have them right now because I have them kind of taped in the back of another piece I'm working on and I didn't want to go to the trouble of taking them out. But that is what I do and I've kind of shown that in another video and I can't remember which video it was. Let me just say something about the actual canvas itself and this was one of the things I loved when I first opened it for a child. Now he is little, he's only five, so he might struggle in the very tiny detail areas, very small areas. I'm gonna zoom in really quickly and let's take a closer look. So let me just get really uh, close right here. You see these very large open spaces. So what I'm gonna do today is show him how to do these larger openings and maybe get him to start filling in and learning to be comfortable in the larger spaces. When it comes time, and it won't be today, but when it comes time for him to learn about smaller areas, then I will approach that maybe in a different way. Or I might just say, you know what, when it comes to these little small areas, mommy, you know, I will help you with that. But I don't want him to feel overwhelmed with that whole process. So we will start with a flat brush. I will not be giving him round brushes. We will use the one in the kit. But, you know, I'm not giving him my good brushes. I know, I know. But I don't have ones that are very large, and I feel like for these openings, he's gonna need something even larger than the ones that I have. So I'm gonna just let him feel more comfortable doing the openings. I'm not gonna make him feel like he's gotta even get close to the lines yet if he's not comfortable, but I'm also gonna make him feel okay if he goes outside the lines, you guys, Lunch minds, right? It's okay. So that is something I wanted to point out. But in addition to that is, what I loved is that there are big openings for children, but it still is a beautiful little piece and it had enough detail, and I can see that in my photo reference that they've included. It had enough detail, even with the larger openings, that it didn't lose our design. And that's why I selected this one, not just because it was precious and it had a dragon, and a little boy, but it also had beautiful colors, but it had really large openings. So that was what really appealed to me. So he doesn't have to feel like he's gotta do a ton of little tiny spaces. Over time, once he's more comfortable, then we'll go into the details, like I said, no problem. So the kit does have the color reference. It has the vacuum sealed paints, which are gorgeous. You guys, look at these pastel colors. They're fabulous. They are vacuum sealed, like I mentioned. You're gonna get your coupon just like you would do in any other kit that they give you. We're gonna have the wooden paint brushes. It's gonna give him some nicer quality paint brushes, but not my paint brushes. <laughs> because, I, I'm sorry, <laughs> just, I, I love my grandchild, <laughs> um, but <laughs> You know, they sell out, you guys. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, if it comes down to it, maybe, maybe. All right, so uh, I will probably go ahead for him and have the numbers put on the paints and have that ready when he comes in here. Get all this, the items set up. I will have water cups, stir sticks, flow aid, diluted flow aid, everything ready. I won't go through all of that with you guys. I'll have the list in the descriptions of all the tools that I'm using off screen. I also have the pharmacy wipes over here, the cosmetic wipes for keeping the paintbrushes pretty. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, we always get a reference guide with our crafties kits. And I'm gonna go ahead and zoom out real quick, just so you can see everything completely together here. And let me get everything ready and I will be back with my little buddy and we're gonna get started painting, so be prepared. One last thing I wanna do. <sighs> Lord, <sighs> please be with me during this painting session. This could be the most difficult painting session I have ever encountered in my life. It is one thing to teach adults and 
but it is an entirely different thing to teach this particular child how to do anything. He's gonna test my patience. He's gonna step on my last little frazzled nerve. Make sure that no bodily harm comes to anybody in this room because if he starts flailing, there's lights and there's camera equipment and there's paintbrushes, somebody could lose an eye and we could have paint on everything. Um, I am wearing nothing fancy. I'm taking off my watch and my rings. Um, okay, and that's all. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, thank you guys. I'll be right back with Little Man to get started. Hello, we're back again, and this is Melanie, and this is Colton. You wanna wave? There, okay. So now what we've done is we have all of our paints labeled. Let me get them over here. And I put them in the foam trays so that he can have them in order by number. Only problem is we're missing number four. So we're gonna have to let them know at Crafties that we had an extra number eight, like we're supposed to, but we did not have number four. So we're gonna let them know about that. They'll send us a new one. I'm not worried about it. But for today, we're just gonna have to skip number four. I don't think that was gonna be one that we were gonna make it to anyway. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna start explaining to him how we're gonna paint. And then because what we're gonna try to do is teach other kids how to paint by number. So what he's gonna learn is how to do it so he can show other five-year-olds that they can do it too, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay, yes, ma'am. All right, so I'm gonna open up your paintbrushes. These are gonna be your paintbrushes. These are your water cups over here, okay? When you rinse your water cups, you gotta be really careful. Now, you don't wanna leave your paintbrushes in your water cup because it'll ruin them, okay? but we wanna rinse them first so they're not hard. See how they're really hard like this? If you were to paint, look what would happen. It would poke the canvas yes, and it would poke. like, yep, it would just poke them. So we wanna get them wet first. You wanna do that? You wanna get the paintbrushes wet? Yes, All right, and do you see the little ripple, ripples on the bottom of that little cup? Yes. So, okay, let me, let me see if we can slide some stuff over so the camera can see too. All right, so you're gonna take your paintbrush. Can you hold it like this, kind of straight up and down? and rub it on those little lines on the bottom. Can you do that? Back and forth like this. There. Okay, you perfect. Hear it. Yep. Bloop, bloop, bloop. All right, and we're gonna shake it off and take it over here to this little paper towel thingy and wipe all the water off. All right, there you go. See how the water's gone? Cool. All right, we lay it down. But there's some right there. Okay, get it all off. I can't see because you, you're the one doing the job. Here, you do it. Make sure all the water's off. Got it? Yep. All right, put it down, and then we're gonna do the next one. So we're gonna do that real fast. He poked me in the nose. All right, so we're gonna keep the little paint water handy. So when you're painting, you can clean your paintbrush off. I'm gonna bite that hand if you keep putting it up in my camera. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. You gotta be kind of careful because paint, if it gets on your clothes, it's gonna be a tricky, tricky thing to get off your clothes. Mm -hmm. So let's see what, what, what do you wanna paint first? Let's look mm -hmm. at your painting. The dragon. All right, I knew you were gonna wanna paint the dragon first. He's pretty cool. So what we're gonna do is first of all, do you see how each opening has a number? Mm -hmm. All right, so what does that number say in that dragon? Five. Five. So what do you think you're gonna do? What color do you think you're gonna need for that? Uh, if it says number five, what would you pull? What, what Green. Which one? What? Number five, right. Okay, so can you pull that number five paint? Mm. Okay, yep, pull it right out of there. I can't. Yep, you sure can. All right, so there you go. You get water on you. <laughs> yeah. All right, so you might have to have help when you open these up so you don't but usually the paint is not like soupy like some other paints are. Like, yeah, see how it's kind of thick? Sticks. Yeah, see how it's kind of thick like this? Yes. Okay. So, now I'm gonna show you a little bit and then I'm gonna give you the paintbrush and I'm gonna let you try it. Now the trick is, and I'm gonna do it a little bit. You've seen me paint, right? Mm -hmm. And you see how I'm careful when I get next to lines? So what we wanna try to do Oh, there's a five right there. Yep, so you're gonna paint. You don't have to paint just over the five. You wanna paint all of this area where the lines are, right? 
You're gonna paint everything mm -hmm. on the inside. I try my best to look the yep. right. Yep, you're gonna do you're gonna do a great job. I'm not worried at all. So so what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna pick a smaller little number five. So I'll, I'll do this part and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put a little bit of paint on the paintbrush like this, right? And then I'm gonna start painting it just like this. Are you dancing to the strokes? Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, now one thing I notice is the paint is a little bit thick. So I'm gonna take some special magic liquid, which is called Flow Aid, and this is just my special stuff. So I'm gonna put some of this in here and mix it up some, so it makes it so the paint is not super thick. This is just my magical trick, okay? That way when you're painting, it's not gonna take so long to like mix it. You won't be doing this part, I'll just have to do this part. Hey, I'll show you where I am gonna start first. Okay. Right. You're gonna do his whole head. Yes, I want to do That's it. what you're gonna do. Yes, I want to. Wait. So I'm just gonna do that little part of his oh booty. Oh my goodness. What? It's so tiny. It's so cute. Yeah, you're not gonna do any of that not little tiny that. part. It's not that. What? That tiny little. Yes. Opening. Yeah, you're not gonna do any of the little tiny stuff today. I you don't have to do any of that right now. Because it's so little, you have to use a different color on that part. Yes. Just do your... Yep. Yep. Like, just scribbling on it. Okay, so here we go. Alright, so I got a little bit of Flow Aid in there. People can't hear me talk. <laughs> okay, so I got this little special magic solution in there. It's called Flow Aid. It makes it move a little easier. So now, watch this. I'm gonna stay away from the wine right now, just a little bit, okay? And I'm just gonna paint, and now, when I get close to the wine, I'm just gonna be kind of careful, like this, right? I'm just gonna get a little bit more paint, and then when I get close to the wine, I'm gonna slow down. Are you, look, I want you to watch closely. Lean in and look. You see how I'm getting real close and I'm doing real careful around the line? Mm -hmm. Because if I go over this way, that's where number three is. That's a different color. So I have to stay on this side of the line and I have to keep this color on this side, okay? Okay. Now, if I get, when I'm down here, I have to do the same thing. So I'm gonna stay away from the line. I went over a little bit right here, see that? I'm just kidding. It's okay. So when I get near the line, I'm going to be really careful and I'm going to go super slow. Like this, right? What are you laughing about? You just said bad winky. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Never go over the lines. I'm just kidding. Line shrines. But we do, we do want to try to be kind of careful about the line. But we don't go to jail if we go over the line. There's not a paint by number jail, and the police don't show up and take us to paint by number prison or anything. So, so once I'm finished with this little part, I'm gonna hand it to you. See how I went over on number four a little bit? But whoa, don't you fall. But what's gonna happen is when I go back with number four, when you go back with number four, you don't have to worry because we're gonna paint right over that little boo boo. Where is the little accident? Right here where that little smudgy wood right there is. <laughs> oh, I see it. <laughs> but it's because this paintbrush is not smudgy, my friend. Smudgy. It is not my friend. I, see, I'm used to my, I'm full with my own paintbrushes. And <laughs> this one going and calls me. To, I'm going to have to call my It's going to give me a, it's going to give me some kind of. Seizure. Okay, all right, I'm doing enough. So, okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna rinse the brush. I'm gonna give you a clean brush to work with. Now, when I'm gonna clean it, I'm gonna wipe it off and get all the extra water off again, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, you're gonna get the paint that's out of this little cap, and that's what you're gonna paint with. Now, one thing you're not gonna do, you, <laughs> all right, just don't go over this part. <laughs> Look, don't go over this little nostril. 
Don't go this little nose hole. <laughs> don't go over this little part. These are different colors. But these are different colors and don't go over that little part that's a 14 okay so you can paint all of this part but just don't go over those little parts okay and your left hand you know what your left hand is this one okay you're gonna hold your paint pot all right just get a little bit there you go you start painting this way because you're right-handed you want to paint this side and you're gonna start going that way so we're gonna go like this give me I'm gonna help you at first we need a bigger brush and we're gonna take it and we're gonna start going like this. Ready? Look at you. Now don't look at the camera, look at where you paint or you're gonna have it all over. Now, when you start get running out of paint on this side of your brush, flip it over and start painting it on this side. See how you got all that extra paint on the other side? Mm-hmm. Okay, now, see how nice it's starting to look? <laughs> now you start running out of paint. Bad me. Flip the <laughs> Bad Minky is helping you. I'm not a bad Minky if I help you. Okay, now get some more paint and then do that up here. Start up here and do that same thing. You can get more than that. You got a speck. <laughs> there you go. Now you got a lot. So, good job. You paint like an artist. And flick and flick and flick and flick. No, don't. You'll be flicking it everywhere. I'm just kidding. All right, now see this little blob up here? I'm gonna take that little blob. And we're gonna just take the blob and oh, we almost went the line. The blob. And we're gonna move the blob. <laughs> now remember, blob. now what are we gonna do? We're gonna flip the brush and don't push too hard. You'll poke a hole in your canvas. This is just fabric. It's like cloth. All right, look at you go. Look at you go. All right, remember. No, don't flick. I'm kidding. When you flick, you get crazy and you go all over the lines. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you're doing it! You're doing it! Okay, Jen, slow down. Slow down, Jethro. Okay, stay up here in this area because. All right. Now, if you see these little lines right here, you just want to smooth them out. To hold love. You better be careful. You get too much, you're going to have it on everything. Okay, hold your paintbrush a little lower like you do your diamond painting and your pencil. There you go. There you go. Oh, now your head's in front of the camera. Back up just a little bit. There you go. Okay, there you go. Here you go, like this. Take that blob and smear it. Take that blob and tell it where you want it to go. Let's stay away from the line for a minute. Okay, there we go. Let's turn it this way. You got a lot on that other side. Ooh, All right. I need to get you a bigger brush. All right, let's make that little line go away. We got a little, sh little blob right there. Now stay away. Blobby blob. Now stay away from, okay, now. You, you cover not up really well. Let me get my glasses on. And I'm gonna go see if I can find those other paint brushes I just bought. You be careful. Stay away from those other spots. You're doing so good. Honestly, you're doing so well. I love it. Slow down there, Jethro. Now you're coming up close to lines. Remember, go real slow and easy. Make sure your brush is, your paint is smooth. And if you run out on one side, flip it over and get some on the other side. But oh. Uh, yep. Uh, no, you're doing good. That's great. You're doing really well. Get a little bit at a time so we don't run out of paint. There you go. Okay. And don't forget, you gotta come up around this too. Anywhere there's five, that whole opening is going to have. Be careful around those little... Take that blob and go. Oh! <laughs> careful. <laughs> okay, so maybe that was a little bit of a dramatic scream. <laughs> you scared me. That's an opening. That's a little opening down there. No! Oh, you did really well. Okay. I misjudged you. <laughs> okay, don't want to come up here with all that paint and... You got a lot on your brush. Now slow down there. You get a little slappy there. You get a little slap happy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let me see. Oh, yes, yeah, so you got on this. You got some on this side. Hey, you got a lot in there. So lay your brush down like this. And then there you go. Here you go. I got to find you better brushes. Here. That brush is dry and it's like. <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> My one little frazzled nerve is feeling the pain right now. I'm scared to walk away though. 
I'm scared. Right. See that? See that little blob right there? And those little blob. Make sure you kind of smooth them out. Now I'm liking your um, impasto effect. Do you know what impasto means? No. That means it's got texture. You know, because a, a dragon wouldn't be smooth. But I don't know if we have enough paint to give it the impasto effect, which would be super cool. <laughs> What are you giggling about? You scared me. Every time I start to walk away, you start giggling, and I'm worried. I'm worried I'm going to come back, and you're going to have the whole painting. Whoa, there. Okay, so let's come up here and fill in this spot before you get too close to lines and give me a nervous breakdown. Okay. What you doing? Somewhere? A whole blob. Well, be careful. Oh. All right, slow down. When you get a whole blob, you've got to... Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I'm... Y'all hear my panic breathing over here? Yes, I'm getting a little, a little stressed. Okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> you look like you've been doing this a while. You've been watching Minky B's videos. You know who Minky B is? Uh -huh. You know who Melanie B is? On YouTube? You. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm glad you knew because I felt kind of insignificant. Did that little blob. Yep. And there you go. Look at you go. Okay, wait. Before you get more paint, before you get more paint, I'm going to show you something. See up here, we got some spots that we can take some of the paint that you have on here. Look at this. See how we got some, whoa, went over it. That's okay. Minky's supposed to be the pro, but look, she just, she's just not doing her job. See, so we're going to smooth some of it out. See this little blob? I missed, I didn't miss nothing. I wasn't painting it. You were. See, now you're going to talk smack again. Look at you. Talk smack. Why are you always talking smack? <laughs> Why are you always talking smack? I try to teach you stuff. I try to expand your horizons and make you a cultural role. Make you more cultured. Oh, look at us. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm having a hate-hate a hate relationship with this paintbrush right now. Okay, here I'm taking over. Here, oh, I can imagine that. Minky being a control freak. All right, um... All right, wait, well, well, here, okay, all right, here. Wait a minute, now look at you. You just painted that whole dragon's face. Does he have an eyeball somewhere that we've covered up? Right there. Okay. Woo, I thought we had covered his whole eyeball. Now, now, what we gonna do is wait, before you paint anything else with that big blob of paint, before you take, hey, take that thing back. Take that thing back where it came from, oh, so help me. So help me, so help me, and put it back. All right, don't drop that paint. Wait. Stop. Hammer time. All right. I'm not gonna grab it. You're painting like a, you're sideways. Okay, hold it like a pencil. And don't drop it. Cause you're gonna paint somewhere. Hold it down a little closer. Okay. Now kind of get between the lines, right? Get it between the right in there where that little space is, maybe. I think we're proving right now that a five-year-old can be taught to paint by number. What do you think, Colty? Mm -hmm. Yes, look at you now! Okay, I got that high-pitched thing that people will hate when they... Oh, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Happy dance, happy dance. I am so glad nobody can see me right now. <laughs> oh, wait, no, 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 that's three. Oh, no, you're right, it's five. Never mind, don't listen to me. <laughs> I'm just a teacher. <laughs> you did it right. Never mind. Never mind. Wait, you need a smaller brush. Just freeze. 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 <laughs> All right, if I give you one of my Melanie B's custom paint brushes, can you be careful with it? I will. Okay, like these are mine. These are my babies. <laughs> so you have to be super careful because me. But for you. Do I put them in there? Yeah. Just make sure there's no paint on it. Oh, you got. Let's get the extra paint off. Because you want to make sure you save all the paint you can so you have enough for your project. Okay. And then I'll, you take it over here and you wash it off like this. And nobody in the camera can see this, but if they're teaching their children to paint, they know how to clean their brushes. Probably. Hopefully. All right. So we're going to put this one here. All right. Here's the lecture. One thing you never do with a really, 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 really good paintbrush. You never want to take it and go... And I like just smear on Right, place. right, that's or right. Would it look good? Exactly, and you have to be super careful with really good paintbrushes because what you don't want to do either is you don't want to go back and forth like a pencil or a marker. You want to go in one direction, real gentle, okay? 
because if you do that, you'll skin up the whole, all the bristles. See how gently? Yeah. All right. So I think he might have to look away right now. Okay. I'll hold your paint pot if you need more paint. Hold it closer down at the bottom, closer like a pencil, so you get more control because it's different. Look at you go, but put a little bit more paint on it, just a teeny bit, tiny, tiny bit. Wipe off. Okay, that's good. Now go in there. Make sure your head's your head's in the way. Okay. Now keep your hand closer to the top of the brush. Down. There you go. Just like that. And then there you go. And then get right up in here and get smooth that little clump out. There. Right here, it's got a little lump of paint in that little section right there. Yep, you're doing so great. Careful now, careful. Now, when you have this brush, you can come around here where it's real, that little area around the edge. You should be able to get in a little bit closer because the brush is smaller. And don't scribble, remember you gotta go in one direction. You got real close around there. You gotta get this right there. Can you do it? You want me to get you some more paint? I can see new brushes being opened. I can see it in my future. <laughs> Don't even start. Okay, no, we're on a video. Don't even start tickling my ear. Let's see, what area are you gonna start with now? Um, what you wanna finish? Yeah. Get your paint I'm brush. I'm gonna do that one. Number five, or wait. That one. Oh, number 23? Yep, number 23, okay. number 23. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get you a different brush. Okay, we're gonna go in with this one. This was the same company that made mine as a sample from them, so it's the same, same peoples. All right, gorgeous color. So we're gonna, do, you just have to avoid that. Remember how to hold it. Hold it with your, yep, just like that. And I'll help you just hold this paint pot. Okay. Remember how you're supposed to be painting it. There you go. You're doing such a great job. Now I'm gonna move the camera back just a little bit to make sure. I got a little, I got a little right. That's okay. This kind of paint, you can kind of paint over it when we do that, num that number beside it, that number six, and it will cover it right back up. So pretty, what a great color. So beautiful. Now you got a little blob right there. You make sure you smooth it out. Where, right here? Yep. Ooh. He and I are both getting hungry, so I think the whole point of this video is to show that a five-year-old can paint my number and that you can teach a five-year-old who is um, a little bit hyper and lacks mm -hmm. some mm -hmm. focus and attention to paint my number. So, and he's out on Christmas vacation, so it's been very difficult to keep his attention and uh, so this is especially difficult time to maybe teach him something like this so I'm feeling very good about this and I also think because for a video it might be a little extra might be a little extra um, showy offy <laughs> so maybe if it was just he and his mama and I that it would be even a better experience now hey first of all let me show you something I'm, now let me stop for a second what I was, what I was saying when you, when you put the paintbrush in, the little pot, you gotta make sure you don't put it down too far. Because if you put it too far down in there and you get it up in the metal part, it can mess up the paintbrush. But the rest of that's looking good. You're doing okay with the rest of that. You're doing so great. Now don't get any more paint until you spread around all this paint you have on there, okay? Look at you go. We're gonna let mommy come see. Now remember, you gotta be careful and hold it closer so you can get it Real oh. close. It's okay if you go over the line a little bit. We'll fix it when we come back. I huh? I, I actually got off the line a lot. Well, we, okay. So we have what something called a reference guide, and when we fix it, we can look at that guide, and it will tell us where we where you went over the line, so we can fix it later. As long as you have all the paint smooth, then we'll make sure we fix it. So, so remember, make sure you go in one direction. There you go. Look at you go. You're gonna be a master painter. Now, 
There you go. Good job. You manipulated around those little curves. Well, wait, no, look, 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 you're fine. Don't get upset about it because I'm going to show you something. Watch. So if you lift up the brush and don't push it too hard, that way, <laughs> stop tickling my ear. No, don't do it. Recording, quit it. Look, what you do is when you're painting, if you push down real hard, you see how it spreads the bristles out. But if you lift it up, you're not pushing them down too hard. So when you go around stuff, if you push it hard. Oh, you. I did not. And where's the whole thingy? Right here. It, no, you did that. I didn't do that, sweetheart. Mm -hmm. We're going to go back. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you in a minute. Don't worry. Now, I don't know over here where your 24 or 23 was supposed to end. But I'm going to look, look, look. See how we smoothed out everything? <sighs> See? Look. We're done with this side. All right. You did such a good oh, job. Oh, right there. Yeah, so when we come back, I didn't touch that part. That was all you. But what we're going to do, I'm going to show you what we're going to do. And we're going to show the people at home what we're going to do. Now, I'm going to help you right here. We're going to get that line. Well, I think you've had enough for today. But before we leave the people at home, we're going to let this dry. Remember how we talked about that one day when I was painting that custom painting of me at my wedding? And you said, how long would it take to dry? And we talked about it. We're going to leave this to dry, okay? It doesn't take very long. After we eat lunch, if you feel better and you want to paint some more, we'll paint. And we can record it if you want to. All right, so Colton and I are ready to go eat lunch. And we didn't paint a lot, but we have to paint for our attention span. So if you have a five-year-old or a child that is fairly young, don't expect them to sit and paint for hours. We're gonna take a break and maybe over some time, we'll come back and we'll continue to paint on this. We thank you for being here and joining us for Colton's first ever paint by number session. I'm gonna ask him, if you can learn to paint at five years old, do you think anybody can learn to paint by number? Yes. Okay. Did you like it? Yes. Okay, good. All right. Thank you guys as always for watching and we will see you back soon.